Welcome to Storytime Haven, where magic and imagination intertwine to create enchanting tales for listeners of all ages. Tonight, join us on a journey into the mystical realm of the Dreamweaver P. Rince, where a young prince discovers his extraordinary gift and embarks on a quest to save his kingdom from the darkness that threatens to engulf. F it. As the morning sun cast its warm glow over the castle of Everglade, Prince Aiden stretched and yawned, his mind still foggy with s leap. He rubbed his eyes and swung his legs over the edge of his bed, his bare feet meeting the cool stone floor of his cha. Ember, Aiden was no ordinary prince. While his siblings spent their days practicing swordplay or attending tedious court meetings, Aiden found solace in the quiet corners of the sea. Asshole, where he would lose himself in books filled with tales of magic and advent. Sure, little did he know his own adventure was about to begin. One crisp autumn morning, as Aiden wandered through the castle GA. Ardennes, his attention was drawn to a peculiar sight, a shimmering thread of light dancing on the gentle BR. Ease. Intrigued, he followed the ethereal trail until it led him to a forgotten chamber hidden deep within the castle W. Alls. As Aiden stepped into the dimly lit room, he gasped in wonder at the sight before him, a magnificent loom its intricate frame adorned with shimmering threads of every hue imagine. Abel, it was unlike anything he had ever seen, and yet, he felt an inexplicable pull toward. Esset, with trembling hands, Aiden reached out to touch the loom, and as his fingers made contact with the smooth wood, a rush of energy coursed through him, sending shivers down his s pine. It was then that he heard a whisper, soft and melodious, like the gentle rustle of leaves in the wind. You are the Dreamweaver, Prince Aiden, the voice murmured, its words echoing in the stillness of the cha. Ember, with this loom, you have the power to shape the dreams of others, to bring hope and joy to those in. Need. Aiden could scarcely believe what he was hearing. He'd always been drawn to the world of dreams, but never had he imagined that he held the key to weaving them him. Self. And yet, as he gazed upon the shimmering threads of the loom, he knew that his life would never be the same, eh? Gain. With newfound determination, Aiden set to work, his fingers flying deftly across the loom as he wove intricate patterns of light and shesh. Adow. With each passing moment, he could feel the magic growing stronger within him, filling him with a sense of purpose he had never. And so, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, Prince Aiden emerged from the chamber, his heart aglow with the knowledge that he was destined for greatness. For he was not just a prince, he was the Dreamweaver, and his journey had only just begun. The Grand Hall of Everglade Castle buzzed with anticipation as nobles and servants alike bustled about, preparing for the evening's royal banquet. Amidst the flurry of activity, Prince Aiden sat at the long wooden table, his mind drifting as he traced patterns in the polished surface with his finger. Suddenly, the heavy oak doors at the far end of the hall swung open, and King Sebastian and Queen Isabella swept into the room, their regal robes trailing behind them. All eyes turned towards the royal couple as they made their way to the head of the table, their expressions grave yet determined. My dear subjects, King Sebastian began, his voice ringing out across the hall. Tonight, we have gathered to share a momentous announcement, one that concerns the future of our kingdom. A murmur of curiosity rippled through the assembled crowd as they waited with bated breath for the king to continue. Aiden felt a flutter of excitement in his chest, his curiosity piqued by his father's solemn tone. As many of you are aware, Queen Isabella added, her voice gentle yet commanding, our beloved son, Prince Aiden, possesses a gift unlike any other, a gift that has been bestowed upon him by the gods themselves. Aiden's heart skipped a beat as he listened to his mother's words, his mind racing with questions. What gift could she be referring to, and why had he never been told about it before? With a wave of her hand, Queen Isabella signaled to the servants, who promptly wheeled a large, ornate mirror into the center of the hall. Aiden watched in astonishment as the mirror began to shimmer and glow, casting an otherworldly light across the room. This, my dear subjects, King Sebastian declared, his voice ringing with pride, is the mirror of dreams a sacred artifact that has been passed down through generations of our royal family. And it is through this mirror that Prince Aiden's true destiny shall be revealed. A hush fell over the crowd as King Sebastian turned to his son, his eyes shining with an intensity that took Aiden's breath away. My son, he said, his voice thick with emotion, 
You are the Dreamweaver, a title that has been whispered in the halls of our castle for centuries. With your gift, you have the power to shape the dreams of our people, to bring them comfort and solace in times of need. Aiden could scarcely believe what he was hearing. The weight of his newfound destiny pressed down upon him like a heavy cloak, filling him with a sense of awe and wonder. And yet, as he gazed into the depths of the mirror of dreams, he knew that he was ready to embrace the challenges that lay ahead. For he was not just Prince Aiden, he was the Dreamweaver, and his journey had only just begun. Aiden stood before the enchanted loom, his heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The chamber was bathed in a soft, ethereal light, casting long shadows that danced across the walls like playful spirits. He took a deep breath, steeling himself for the task ahead. Are you ready, my son? Queen Isabella's voice broke through the silence, her eyes shining with pride and anticipation. Aiden nodded, his gaze never leaving the shimmering threads of the loom. He could feel the magic tingling in his fingertips, beckoning him to unleash its power and shape the dreams of those in need. With a steady hand, Aiden reached out and grasped the wooden frame of the loom, his fingers finding purchase on the smooth surface. He closed his eyes and focused, allowing the energy of the loom to flow through him like a gentle stream, guiding his movements with an unseen force. As he began to weave, Aiden felt a sense of clarity wash over him, his mind awash with images and emotions that seemed to materialize out of thin air. With each deft motion of his hands, he wove intricate patterns of light and shadow, each thread a testament to his newfound mastery of the ancient art of dream weaving. Hours passed in a blur as Aiden lost himself in the rhythm of the loom, his senses heightened and attuned to the subtle nuances of the dream world. He wove dreams of joy and laughter, of love and friendship, each one a reflection of the hopes and desires of those who slumbered beneath the starlit sky. And when at last he finished, Aiden stepped back from the loom, his chest heaving with exertion, yet his heart light with satisfaction. He had done it. He had harnessed the power of the enchanted loom and shaped dreams that would inspire and uplift the spirits of his people. As he surveyed his handiwork, Aiden felt a swell of pride welling up inside him. For he was not just Prince Aiden, he was the Dreamweaver, and his journey had only just begun. And with the enchanted loom as his guide, he knew that the possibilities were endless. The moon hung low in the night sky, casting a silvery glow over the sleepy village of Willowbrook. All was quiet save for the gentle rustling of leaves in the breeze, and the soft murmur of the nearby river as it wound its way through the darkness. In a small cottage nestled at the edge of the village, a young girl named Ilara tossed and turned in her bed, her brow furrowed with worry. For weeks, she had been plagued by restless nights, her dreams haunted by shadows and whispers that refused to let her rest. As Alara drifted into a fitful slumber, her troubled mind conjured images of a world consumed by darkness, a world where hope was but a distant memory, and despair reigned supreme. She cried out in anguish, her voice echoing through the silent streets as she battled against the nightmares that threatened to consume her. But just as all seemed lost, a faint shimmer of light appeared on the horizon, a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness. And from that light emerged Prince Aiden, his face radiant with determination as he stepped forward to confront the shadows that loomed before him. With a flick of his wrist, Aiden summoned forth a cascade of stars that danced and twirled in the night sky, their light banishing the darkness and filling the world with a sense of wonder and awe. Ilara watched in awe as the stars wove intricate patterns of light and shadow, their brilliance illuminating the darkest corners of her mind. And as the first rays of dawn broke across the horizon, Alara awoke to find herself bathed in the warm embrace of morning light. She blinked in astonishment, her heart light with joy, as she realized that the shadows that had plagued her dreams were no more. For Prince Aiden had woven a dream of hope and courage, a dream that had banished the darkness and brought light to a troubled heart. And as Alara stepped out into the world once more, she knew that she would never forget the kindness of the dream weaver, whose magic had touched her soul and changed her life forever. It was a stormy night in Everglade Castle, the wind howling through the ancient turrets and rattling the stained glass windows. Aiden sat hunched over a dusty tome in the castle library, his brow furrowed with concentration as he pored over the faded pages. For days, he had been plagued by a sense of unease, a feeling that something dark and foreboding loomed on the horizon, threatening to shatter the fragile peace of the kingdom. And now, as he delved deeper into the depths of the ancient texts, he feared that his suspicions were about to be confirmed. As Aiden read on, his heart sank like a stone in his chest. 
for they are written in cryptic verse, was the prophecy that had haunted his dreams, a prophecy foretelling a great danger that only he could stop. Born of royal blood, a prince shall rise with magic in his veins and fire in his eyes. But shadows lurk in the depths of night, and darkness shall swallow the land in blight. To the dreamweaver the fate is known, a kingdom's future lies in his hands alone. With courage and strength he must fight the tide and banish the darkness or all shall be lost in the night. Aiden's hands trembled as he read the words, the weight of their meaning pressing down upon him like a suffocating cloak. He knew now what he must do. He must confront the darkness that threatened to engulf his kingdom, and he must do so alone. With a heavy heart, Aiden closed the book and rose to his feet, his mind ablaze with determination. He would not allow fear to hold him back, nor would he shrink from the challenges that lay ahead. For he was not just Prince Aiden, he was the dream weaver, and his kingdom needed him now more than ever. The forbidden forest loomed on the outskirts of Everglade Kingdom, its dense canopy shrouded in mist and mystery. Legends whispered of ancient spirits that dwelled within its depths, guardians of forgotten knowledge and secrets as old as time itself. With a sense of trepidation and determination, Aiden set forth into the heart of the forest, his footsteps muffled by the thick carpet of fallen leaves that carpeted the forest floor. The air was thick with magic, sending shivers down his spine as he pressed on, his senses alert for any sign of danger. As he ventured deeper into the forest, a tree seemed to close in around him, their twisted branches reaching out like gnarled fingers grasping for purchase. But Aiden paid them no mind, his focus fixed on the task at hand, to seek out the ancient spirits and unravel the mysteries that lay hidden within the forest's dark embrace. At last, after what felt like hours of wandering through the labyrinthine paths of the forest, Aiden stumbled upon a clearing bathed in golden light. In the center of the clearing stood a circle of ancient stones, their surfaces etched with symbols and runes of a bygone era. With a sense of reverence, Aiden approached the stones, his heart pounding with anticipation. He knew that he had found what he sought. The sacred place where the ancient spirits held court, their wisdom as boundless as the stars themselves. Closing his eyes, Aiden reached out with his mind, sending out a silent plea to the spirits that dwelled within the forest's depths. I seek your guidance, he whispered, his voice barely more than a breath on the wind. Show me the path that I must tread and grant me the strength to face the darkness that threatens my kingdom. For a moment there was silence, a stillness that seemed to stretch on for an eternity. And then, like a whisper carried on the breeze, Aiden heard the faint echo of voices, voices that spoke of courage and sacrifice, of hope and redemption. With renewed determination, Aiden opened his eyes and stood tall, his heart filled with the knowledge that he was not alone. For in the heart of the forbidden forest, surrounded by ancient spirits and timeless wisdom, he had found the strength to face whatever challenges lay ahead. As Aiden ventured deeper into the heart of the forbidden forest, he felt a sense of awe and reverence wash over him. The ancient trees whispered secrets in the wind, and shafts of golden sunlight filtered through the canopy above, casting dappled patterns of light and shadow on the forest floor. Suddenly, a figure stepped out from the shadows. A being of ethereal beauty, their form shifting and shimmering like sunlight on water. Aiden's breath caught in his throat as he gazed upon the guardian of the forest, their eyes filled with a wisdom as old as time itself. Welcome, young dreamweaver, the guardian said, their voice like the gentle rustle of leaves in the wind. I have been expecting you. Aiden blinked in astonishment, his mind racing with questions. How did the guardian know of his presence? And what did they mean by calling him a dreamweaver? But before he could speak, the guardian raised a hand, their expression serene yet commanding. Come, they said, gesturing for Aiden to follow. There is much that I have to show you. With a sense of anticipation and curiosity, Aiden followed the guardian deeper into the heart of the forest, their footsteps falling in sync with the rhythm of the earth beneath them. Along the way, the guardian spoke of the power of dreams, their ability to shape reality and weave the fabric of existence itself. Every dream, the Guardian explained, is a thread in the tapestry of life, a reflection of the hopes and fears, the joys and sorrows of those who dream them. And it is through the art of dream weaving that you, young Aiden, have the power to bring light to the darkness and hope to the despairing. Aiden listened intently, his mind ablaze with newfound understanding. He had always felt a deep connection to the world of dreams, but now he realized that his gift was more than just a curiosity. It was a calling a responsibility to use his powers for the greater good. 
As they reached the edge of the forest, the guardian turned to Aiden, their eyes shining with pride. Remember, young Dreamweaver, they said, their voice echoing in the stillness of the forest. You hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of the dream world. Use your gift wisely, and you will bring light to even the darkest of shadows. With a sense of gratitude and determination, Aiden bid farewell to the guardian and set forth on his journey, his heart filled with the knowledge that he was not alone. For he had the wisdom of the guardian and the power of dreams on his side, guiding him every step of the way. As Aiden delved deeper into the mysteries of dream weaving, he knew that he would inevitably encounter the darker aspects of the dream world. And so, with a sense of trepidation and determination, he braced himself to confront his deepest fears in the shadowy realm known as the Shadow Realm. With a deep breath, Aiden closed his eyes and focused his mind, allowing himself to slip into a state of lucid dreaming, a state where he could navigate the dream world with clarity and purpose. As he drifted deeper into the darkness, he felt a chill run down his spine, the air thick with a palpable sense of dread. Suddenly, he found himself standing on the edge of a vast chasm, its depths shrouded in darkness. The ground beneath his feet trembled, and he realized with a sinking feeling that he was standing on the precipice of his own subconscious, the realm where his deepest fears and anxieties lay hidden. With a sense of determination, Aiden stepped forward into the darkness, his heart pounding in his chest. As he navigated the treacherous landscape of the Shadow Realm, he encountered twisted visions and nightmarish creatures that sought to drag him down into the abyss. But Aiden refused to back down, his resolve strengthened by the knowledge that he was not alone. With each step he took, he felt the presence of the Guardian of Dreams guiding him, their voice a reassuring whisper in the back of his mind. As he confronted his deepest fears, a fear of failure, of abandonment, of the unknown, he realized that they held no power over him. For in the realm of dreams, he was the master of his own destiny, the architect of his own reality. And so, with a newfound sense of confidence and courage, Aiden banished the shadows that had haunted him for so long, filling the darkness with light and hope. As he emerged from the shadow realm, he knew that he had faced his fears head on and emerged victorious, ready to continue his journey as the dream weaver. As the sun rose on the kingdom of Everglade, Aiden stood before the towering gates of the dreamer citadel, a place of ancient wisdom and sacred knowledge. He knew that within its walls lay the key to unlocking his true potential as the Dreamweaver Prince, but first, he would have to prove himself worthy of the title. With a determined expression set upon his face, Aiden squared his shoulders and stepped forward, his heart pounding with anticipation. The gates swung open before him, revealing a sprawling courtyard filled with swirling mists and shimmering illusions. As Aiden ventured further into the citadel, he encountered a series of challenges designed to test his courage, his wisdom, and his mastery of the dream world. He faced riddles that twisted and turned like the labyrinthine paths of the mind, and illusions that threatened to cloud his judgment and lead him astray. But Aiden refused to be deterred, his resolve unshakable as he pressed on through the trials that lay before him. With each challenge he conquered, he felt a sense of clarity and purpose wash over him, filling him with a newfound confidence in his abilities. At last, after what felt like an eternity of trials and tribulations, Aiden reached the heart of the dreamer Citadel, a chamber bathed in golden light, where the ancient spirits of the dream world awaited him. Welcome, young Dreamweaver, the spirits murmured, their voices echoing in the stillness of the chamber. You have proven yourself worthy of the title, and now the fate of the kingdom rests in your hands. With a sense of humility and gratitude, Aiden bowed before the spirits, his heart overflowing with determination to fulfill his destiny as the Dream Weaver Prince. For he knew that with the guidance of the ancient spirits and the wisdom of the Dreamer Citadel, he would bring light to the darkness and hope to those in need. And so, with his head held high, he set forth on his journey, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead with courage and resolve. As Aiden emerged from the Dreamer Citadel, he was greeted by a sight that took his breath away, a shimmering compass, its surface adorned with intricate runes and symbols that seemed to dance in the sunlight. He knew at once that this was no ordinary compass, but a tool bestowed upon him by the ancient spirits to aid him on his journey as the Dream Weaver Prince. With trembling hands, Aiden reached out to grasp the compass, feeling a surge of energy course through him as its magic responded to his touch. He watched in awe as the needle began to spin, its movements guided by unseen forces that beckoned him to follow. 
Without hesitation, Aiden set forth on the path laid out before him, his heart filled with determination to use the power of the compass to bring light to the darkest corners of the kingdom. With each step he took, he felt the presence of the ancient spirits guiding him, their whispers of encouragement urging him forward. As he journeyed through the kingdom, the compass led him to those in need of his dreams. Villagers plagued by nightmares, soldiers weary from battle, children lost in a world of uncertainty. And with each dream he wove, Aiden felt a sense of purpose and fulfillment unlike anything he had ever known. But as he delved deeper into the mysteries of the dream world, Aiden encountered challenges that tested his resolve like never before. He faced creatures of darkness that sought to thwart his efforts and illusions that threatened to lead him astray. Yet through it all, Aiden remained steadfast in his mission, his faith in the power of dreams unwavering. And as he watched the smiles return to the faces of those he had helped, he knew that he was making a difference in the lives of his people, a difference that would endure long after he had passed into legend. With the guidance of the magical compass and the wisdom of the ancient spirits, Aiden continued on his journey as the Dreamweaver Prince. His heart filled with hope and determination to bring light to the darkest of shadows. And though the path ahead was fraught with challenges, he knew that with courage and perseverance, he would prevail. Aiden paced the halls of Everglade Castle, his mind swirling with disbelief and anger. For days, rumors had been circulating among the courtiers of a plot to overthrow him, a plot orchestrated by none other than his trusted advisor, Sorcerer Malachi. At first, Aiden had dismissed the whispers as idle gossip, but as he delved deeper into the matter, he uncovered a web of deceit and treachery that chilled him to the bone. It seemed that Sorcerer Malachi had been working behind his back, sowing seeds of discord and mistrust among the nobles in a bid to seize power for himself. With a heavy heart, Aiden confronted Sorcerer Malachi, his voice tinged with betrayal and anger. How could you do this? He demanded, his fists clenched at his sides. I trusted you, and you betrayed me. But Sorcerer Malachi only laughed, a cruel, mocking sound that sent shivers down Aiden's spine. You were always too naive, my prince, he sneered. You think that ruling a kingdom is child's play, but you are sorely mistaken. I have seen the true power that lies within the realm of dreams, and I will stop at nothing to harness it for myself. Aiden's blood ran cold as he listened to Sorcerer Malachi's words, his mind reeling with the implications of what he had just heard. It seemed that his trusted advisor had been using him all along, manipulating him for his own selfish ends. With a surge of determination, Aiden vowed to put an end to Sorcerer Malachi's treachery once and for all. With the aid of his loyal companions and the knowledge he had gained from the dreamer Citadel, he would confront the sorcerer and reclaim his rightful place as the true ruler of Everglade Kingdom. But little did he know that the path ahead would be fraught with danger and betrayal, and that the true test of his courage and resolve was yet to come. For Sorcerer Malachi was a formidable foe, and he would stop at nothing to see his plans come to fruition. Aiden sat alone in the dimly lit chamber of the castle archives, surrounded by towering shelves filled with dusty tomes and ancient scrolls. He knew that if he wanted to uncover the truth about his family's history, he would have to delve deep into the past, searching for clues that had long been forgotten. With a sense of determination, Aiden began to sift through the musty pages of the archives, his fingers tracing the faded ink as he sought out any mention of his ancestors. For hours, he pored over the ancient texts, his mind racing with questions and possibilities. And then at last he found it, a passage hidden deep within the pages of an old manuscript, detailing the exploits of a long-forgotten king and his quest to harness the power of dreams for the good of his people. As Aiden read on, he felt a chill run down his spine, for the words on the page spoke of a dark prophecy, a prophecy that foretold of a time when the kingdom would be plunged into darkness. And only the true heir to the throne could bring about its salvation. With a sense of urgency, Aiden sought out the council of the castle's oldest inhabitants, the wise sages and learned scholars who had dedicated their lives to preserving the history of Everglade Kingdom. Together, they pieced together the fragments of the past, unraveling the mysteries that had long been shrouded in secrecy. And, as Aiden listened to their tales of courage and sacrifice, of love and betrayal, he realized that the answers he sought lay not just in the pages of dusty tomes, but in the hearts and minds of those who had come before him. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Aiden set forth on a journey to reclaim his family's legacy and fulfill the destiny that had been foretold in the ancient prophecy. For he knew that the path ahead would be fraught with peril and uncertainty, 
but he was determined to face whatever challenges lay in his way, for the sake of his kingdom and all who called it home. Aidan stood before the assembled courtiers of Everglade Kingdom, his heart heavy with the weight of his newfound knowledge. He knew that if he was to fulfill the prophecy and save his kingdom from the darkness that threatened to consume it, he would need to embark on a quest to find the ancient artifacts that held the key to unlocking his true power as the Dreamweaver Prince. With a sense of determination and resolve, Aiden addressed the gathered crowd, his voice ringing out with conviction. My friends, he began, the time has come for me to embark on a quest, a quest to find the ancient artifacts that will help us in our fight against the darkness that threatens our kingdom. The courtiers murmured in agreement, their faces filled with a mixture of hope and apprehension. They knew that the path ahead would be fraught with danger and uncertainty, but they trusted in Aiden's leadership and believed in his ability to lead them to victory. And so, with the blessings of the royal court and the support of his loyal companions, Aiden set forth on his quest, his heart filled with determination to succeed where others had failed. The first artifact he sought was the Mirror of Dreams, a sacred relic said to hold the power to reveal the truth hidden within the depths of the dream world. With the guidance of the dreamer's compass, Aiden journeyed to the far reaches of the kingdom, braving treacherous terrain and facing formidable foes in his quest to find the mirror. After many trials and tribulations, Aiden finally stood before the ancient artifact, its surface shimmering with otherworldly light. With a steady hand, he reached out to grasp the mirror, feeling a surge of energy course through him as its magic responded to his touch. But the Mirror of Dreams was just the first of many artifacts that Aiden would need to find if he was to save his kingdom from the darkness that threatened to consume it. And so, with renewed determination and a sense of purpose, he set forth on the next leg of his journey, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead in his quest to fulfill his destiny as the Dreamweaver Prince. Aiden stood at the entrance of the Labyrinth of Illusions, his senses on high alert as he gazed into the twisting corridors that stretched out before him. He knew that navigating through this maze would be no easy task. The illusions woven within its walls were designed to test his resolve and challenge his perception of reality. With a deep breath, Aiden stepped forward into the labyrinth, his heart pounding in his chest as he braced himself for the trials that lay ahead. As he ventured deeper into the maze, he found himself confronted with a series of illusions that seemed to bend and warp the very fabric of reality. One moment, he found himself standing on solid ground, only to have it crumble away beneath his feet the next. Another moment, he would come face to face with a mirror image of himself, his reflection taunting him with whispered doubts and fears. But Aiden refused to be swayed by the illusions that surrounded him. With each challenge he faced, he called upon the strength and determination that lay within him, pushing forward with unwavering resolve. As he navigated through the labyrinth, Aiden encountered obstacles that tested not only his physical strength, but also his mental acuity and emotional fortitude. He was forced to confront his deepest fears and insecurities, to question his beliefs and motivations, and to find the courage to overcome the obstacles that stood in his way. And yet, through it all, Aiden remained steadfast in his resolve. He refused to be defeated by the illusions that sought to ensnare him. Trusting in his instincts and his ability to see through the lies and deception that surrounded him. At last, after what felt like an eternity of trials and tribulations, Aiden emerged from the labyrinth, his spirit unbroken and his resolve stronger than ever. He had faced the illusions of the maze and emerged victorious, ready to continue his quest to save his kingdom from the darkness that threatened to consume it. And though the path ahead would be fraught with challenges, he knew that with courage and determination, he would prevail. Aiden stood at the entrance of the dark and foreboding cave that housed the lair of the dream thief, his heart pounding with a mixture of apprehension and determination. He knew that within its depths lay his greatest challenge yet, a confrontation with the sinister figure who sought to steal his powers and plunge the kingdom into darkness. As he ventured deeper into the cave, Aiden felt a chill run down his spine, the air thick with a palpable sense of malevolence. Shadows danced on the walls, whispering secrets and half-truths that sent shivers down his spine. But Aiden pressed on, his resolve unshakable as he braved the treacherous passageways that lay before him. He knew that... He could not afford to falter now, not when the fate of the kingdom hung in the balance. At last he reached the heart of the cave, a cavern bathed in an eerie blue light where the dream thief awaited him, his eyes gleaming with malice. So, the dream weaver prince has come to challenge me. The dream thief sneered, his voice echoing in the stillness of the cavern. 
You may have mastered the art of dream weaving, but you are no match for the power that I wield. Aiden squared his shoulders and met the dream thief's gaze head on, his expression determined. I will not let you destroy everything that I hold dear, he declared, his voice steady despite the fear that gnawed at his insides. With a flick of his wrist, the dream thief summoned forth a swirling vortex of shadows, their tendrils reaching out to ensnare Aiden and drag him into the depths of despair. But Aiden stood his ground, his mind clear and focused as he called upon the magic of the dreamer's compass to shield him from the darkness. With each step he took, Aiden felt the power of the dream world coursing through his veins, lending him strength and resolve in the face of adversity. And as he faced off against the dream thief in a battle of wills and wits, he knew that he would not rest until he had emerged victorious and reclaimed his rightful place as the protector of the kingdom's dreams. Aiden stood at the entrance of the crystal caverns, his eyes wide with wonder as he beheld the dazzling array of crystalline formations that adorned the walls and ceiling. The cavern seemed to shimmer and sparkle in the dim light, casting prismatic patterns across the cavern floor. With each step he took, Aiden felt a sense of anticipation building within him. He knew that within the depths of the crystal caverns lay the key to unlocking the secrets of his ancestry, the knowledge that would help him fulfill his destiny as the Dream Weaver Prince. As he ventured deeper into the caverns, Aiden marveled at the beauty of his surroundings, his fingers trailing over the smooth surfaces of the crystals that lined the walls. He could sense the ancient magic that permeated the air, filling him with a sense of awe and reverence for the power that lay dormant within the earth. But as he delved further into the depths of the caverns, Aiden encountered obstacles that tested not only his physical strength, but also his mental acuity and emotional fortitude. He was forced to navigate treacherous passageways filled with hidden traps and pitfalls, to solve riddles that twisted and turned like the labyrinthine paths of the mind. And yet, through it all, Aiden remained steadfast in his determination to uncover the secrets that lay hidden within the crystal caverns. With each challenge he faced, he drew upon the wisdom of his ancestors and the strength of his own convictions, pushing forward with unwavering resolve. At last, after what felt like an eternity of trials and tribulations, Aiden reached the heart of the caverns, a chamber bathed in a soft, ethereal light, where a towering crystal pillar stood at the center. With a sense of reverence, Aiden approached the pillar, his heart pounding with anticipation. He knew that within its depths lay the answers he sought, the knowledge of his ancestry, and the legacy that had been passed down through generations. As he reached out to touch the crystal pillar, Aiden felt a surge of energy course through him, filling him with a sense of clarity and purpose. And as the visions of his ancestors danced before his eyes, he knew that he had unlocked the secrets of the Crystal Caverns and embraced his destiny as the true heir to the throne of Everglade Kingdom. Aiden stood at the precipice of the Dreamer's Peak, the wind whipping through his hair as he gazed out over the kingdom below. He could feel the power of the dream world coursing through his veins, filling him with a sense of purpose and clarity that he had never known before. With each breath he took, Aiden felt himself drawing closer to the edge of a precipice, a precipice that marked the beginning of his transformative journey. He knew that in order to strengthen his connection to the dream world and fulfill his destiny as the Dreamweaver Prince, he would need to undergo a trial unlike any he had faced before. And so, with a sense of determination and resolve, Aiden took the first step forward, his heart pounding with anticipation. As he ventured deeper into the heart of Dreamer's Peak, he felt the magic of the dream world enveloping him, guiding him along the path that lay ahead. As he journeyed through the ethereal landscapes of the dream world, Aiden encountered visions of his past, present, and future, visions that challenged his perceptions and forced him to confront his deepest fears and insecurities. But with each challenge he faced, he felt his connection to the dream world growing stronger, his understanding of its mysteries deepening with every passing moment. At last, after what felt like an eternity of trials and tribulations, Aiden reached the summit of Dreamer's Peak, a place of boundless beauty and infinite possibility. Here, amidst the swirling mists and shimmering light, he underwent a transformation unlike any he had experienced before. As the energy of the dream world surged through him, Aiden felt himself shedding the doubts and insecurities that had plagued him in the past, embracing the true power that lay within him. With a sense of awe and wonder, he realized that he had been reborn, a true master of the dream world, ready to wield its power for the greater good. And as he gazed out over the kingdom below, Aiden knew that his journey was far from over. With his newfound strength and understanding, he would continue to fight for the light, 
weaving dreams of hope and inspiration that would guide his people through even the darkest of times. For he was not just the dream weaver prince, he was the guardian of dreams, the protector of the realm, and the beacon of hope that would lead his kingdom to a brighter tomorrow. Aiden stood at the gates of Everglade Castle, his heart heavy with the weight of responsibility as he prepared to face the final confrontation. He knew that the fate of the kingdom hung in the balance, and that he alone stood between his people and the darkness that threatened to consume them. With a sense of determination and resolve, Aiden entered the castle courtyard, his eyes scanning the horizon for any sign of the approaching enemy. He could feel the tension in the air, the sense of impending doom that seemed to hang over the kingdom like a shroud. And then, in the distance he saw them, the dark forces that sought to plunge the kingdom into eternal slumber. Their ranks stretched out before him, a sea of shadows and malevolence that seemed to blot out the sun. But Aiden refused to be intimidated. With a fierce cry, he rallied his companions to his side, their swords gleaming in the sunlight as they prepared to meet the enemy head-on. As the battle raged around them, Aiden fought with a strength and determination that he had never known before. With each swing of his sword, he struck down his foes with precision and skill, his mind clear and focused despite the chaos that raged around him. But even as the tide of battle turned in their favor, Aiden could sense that the true threat lay elsewhere, a shadowy figure lurking in the shadows, their eyes gleaming with malice and hatred. With a sense of foreboding, Aiden knew that he must face this enemy alone. With a silent nod to his companions, he stepped forward to meet his destiny, his heart pounding with anticipation as he prepared for the final confrontation. And as the dark figure emerged from the shadows, their true form revealed at last, Aiden knew that the fate of the kingdom rested on his shoulders. With a fierce cry, he charged forward to meet his enemy, his sword held high as he prepared to strike the decisive blow that would determine the fate of Everglade Kingdom once and for all. With a final decisive blow, Aiden struck down the dark figure that had threatened to plunge the kingdom into eternal slumber. As the enemy crumbled to dust before him, a sense of relief washed over Aiden, mingled with a profound sense of accomplishment. He had faced his greatest challenge and emerged victorious, but his work was far from over. With the battle won, Aiden turned his attention to the kingdom, where the aftermath of the conflict still lingered. Buildings lay in ruins and the people were weary from the long night of fighting. But Aiden refused to let despair take hold. With a wave of his hand, he called forth the power of the dream world, using his abilities to mend what had been broken and heal the wounds of the kingdom. As he moved through the streets, Aiden could see the transformation taking place before his eyes. Buildings were rebuilt, and the scars of battle faded away, replaced by a renewed sense of hope and optimism. And as he looked into the eyes of the people he had sworn to protect, Aiden knew that his efforts had not been in vain. But there was still one task left unfinished, the restoration of the dream world itself. With a sense of determination, Aiden ventured into the ethereal realm, where the fabric of reality had been torn asunder by the dark forces that had threatened to consume it. With each step he took, Aiden could feel the weight of his responsibility pressing down upon him. But he refused to falter. With the power of the dreamer's compass as his guide, he navigated through the shattered landscapes of the dream world, weaving dreams of peace and harmony that filled the void left by the enemy's defeat. And as he emerged from the dream world once more, Aiden could feel a sense of peace settling over the kingdom, a peace that had been hard won but was all the more precious for it. With a sense of satisfaction, he knew that his journey was finally at an end. He had faced his fears, confronted his enemies, and emerged triumphant, ready to lead his kingdom into a brighter tomorrow. Years had passed since the final battle that had determined the fate of Everglade Kingdom, but the memory of Aiden, the Dreamweaver Prince, lived on in the hearts and minds of the people. His legacy was not one of conquest or power, but of compassion and hope, a legacy that continued to shape the destiny of the kingdom for generations to come. In the years that followed, Aiden dedicated himself to his role as the guardian of dreams, using his powers to inspire and enchant those around him. With each dream he wove, he breathed new life into the world, filling it with wonder and possibility. And as the years turned into decades, Aiden's influence spread far and wide, touching the lives of countless people across the kingdom and beyond. His dreams became stories told around campfires and whispered in the halls of palaces, inspiring hope and courage in all who heard them. But perhaps Aiden's greatest legacy was the impact he had on the next generation of dreamweavers, the young men and women who looked up to him as a hero and a mentor. Under his guidance, they honed their skills and embraced their destinies, following in his footsteps to become the guardians of dreams themselves.
And so, as Aiden watched from the shores of Dreamer's Lake, he knew that his journey was far from over. Though he may have passed into legend, his spirit lived on in the dreams he had woven and the lives he had touched. And as long as there were dreamers in the world, his legacy would endure, a beacon of hope and inspiration for all who dared to dream. And so, dear listeners, we bid you farewell from Storytime Haven. May the dreams inspired by the dream weaver prince linger in your hearts and ignite your imaginations as you drift off into a world of enchantment. Until next time, may your dreams be filled with wonder and magic. Good night.